I've got some stuff from our bag here. This one I know that you're interested in. This is a pretty special item. And we'll see what else is in there. Stick around and find out. This be cool. Very cool. So let's see what's in here first. Look up to the good one. So this is just a keypad thing. Touch sensitive keypad. It's like a capacitive touch sensor. It's for a little project I'm going to work on soon. We'll see more about that in the future. Or maybe before this video comes out. I'm not quite sure because I've got so many Mario Bag videos done. So here. Yep, somewhere. Yep. In here somewhere. Alright. So more stuff for the project. So here we have some optical sensors, infrared motion sensors. A couple of those, both the same. And I've also got this one here, which is like a USB one, which is a bit different. I thought that could be interesting. Might be better actually because it's got like a USB input which then powers the sensor. And the sensor then turns the USB on and off depending on movement. Thought that might be a nice simple way of doing implementation rather than using these things. So um, we'll see how we go. I've got to try different things. What's this one? Yeah. These are some Arduinos of some kind. Sure, which one it is. I purchased a few different ones recently because I got the USB plugs on them. Which is why I got these. Here you go, it's a nano. It's a nano. Because it's got the built in USB, it's a USB mini in this case. So I've already got some micros. Just here. Pro Micro, same deal. This is obviously a micro USB on it. This has got a mini, mini USB on it. So I wasn't quite sure which one I was going to use. I was going to use a mini or a micro. So um, I thought oh, I'll get both. You know, why not? They're, they're cheap. You know, you're talking a few dollars for these things. You know, they're hardly anything at all these, these devices now. They're really so cheap. So worth getting. Right, a Sorius. Must be capacitors. Check the invoice. Yes, yeah, capacitors. But not what you would expect. It's in a plastic bag. Why do I need to. It's in a bag. Why put it inside another bag? Bloody RS. And another one. Bag inside a bag. What's the... Just. We'll enter the environment for things this stuff. Right, anyway, so we've got some caps. Uh, what are they? No, oh, I can't read them. Get closer, see when you read them. There you go, maybe you can read it. That's not my wobbling around. 40 slash 110 slash 56. 305 volt, is it? AC rated. And 033K. Yeah. And these ones, a bit easier to read. Similar thing. 310 volt AC rated. X2 cap, 0.47 microfarad. So these would be 0 0.03. 3 microfarad, I think. Something like that. I think so. Therefore, TV repair I've got to do. So I've been waiting for these parts to turn off for a little while, so now I've got them, I can actually fix my TV, hopefully. This power supply has been driving me nuts. I've replaced just about everything. Now I'm onto these kinds of capacitors, because I've done all the rest of them. Hmm. Another one from my wrist. And it's more capacitors. These are supposed to be one microfarad, 227 volt AC. Let's 
try and have a close look. Zoom. And focus. There you go. One U, there you go. This is one U there, one UK. 520 is DC voltage rating. So, yep. Yeah. So I think I might be able to catch on here now for that TV. I think that's all I was waiting for. Now, the special box. This has been sent to me by another YouTuber. He's actually bigger than me, he's got, he's got a bigger channel than me. Well, it's got more subscribers than me. I think I've got more videos than he has. By quite a, quite a bit, actually. But he does some good videos. I'm subscribed to his channel, obviously. And he's quite well known. And he's got some... He's got a new project, which he's working on. And this is what's in this box here. Now, the YouTuber is Ian Scott Johnston. In Johnston.com. I'll chuck a link down below in the description and stuff like that. And you'll see another video on this previously well. But Tommy said this mailbag video, I would have actually done a review on this thing, so I'll chuck a link down below for the review of me using this thing before I've you see me even unbox it. Does that make sense? Anyway. So this is the PDV S2 Mini production prototype. Alright, this is a brand new thing from Ian. So I just made it. I'm one of the first people to get one. There's a few other YouTubers as well that have got them. Um, I think it did a batch of four as the prototypes. And I have one of the prototypes. I believe um, xdevs.com, 10, I believe he also has one. And so does SDG Electronics. Um, other two other YouTube channels which you should definitely check out if you're not familiar with them. They already, they've also been um, given some of these to look at. So... Um, yeah, so I'm one of the lucky few, so thank you very much Ian, that's brilliant for being generous. And so it's a prototype, so it's about me trying out and, and seeing what I think of it, and maybe um, coming up with new ideas and things for improvements, if there's anything. But I suspect that that's not going to be the case, so I'm pretty sure that Ian would have done an excellent job, as always. And, you know, even just the packaging is awesome. Right. Um, so I'll be really surprised if I find any problems with this or anything I think could be improved. I very much doubt that. At least I know it's put a lot of effort to this. And it's basically a lower cost version of the PDVS2, which is a DC voltage reference. And this is a DC voltage reference as well, but it's a lower cost version. Because um, when you get that kind of level of precision that you need from these things. It costs a lot of money to develop that sort of thing, and actually, and the parts alone could be quite expensive. And this is why it's called the Mini. And there we go. Lovely packaging. Get all this out of the way. Should I read the instructions? Should I turn it on? Ooh, what to do? What to do? Hmm. Next one. Oh, my hand must let me down. Okay, what the hell is that? Um, I don't know. Let's see through the package there. That is a. Oh, it's not one of those capacitive touch things. There you go, cap touch. A key cap touch sensor. So you can use either wire connections or some other connection, anything you choose. And it's got a little sensor on there, a little controller. And it will send data out to an Arduino or something like that. There's one in there, I think. Yeah, just the one. Let's just get it out. One with headers. There you go, it's a better view of it. And it's got a bunch of LEDs on the output as well, so it will power each one up. So I think it's just like a parallel output. It's also got, um, is it SPI? I square C, I, I can't even tell you which one's which. Mossy MISO is that SPI, isn't it? I've looked at it many times and tried to remember it, I always forget. One of them anyway, see, but SPI, I, I square C, I can't believe it, but one of them. And um, and I think parallel apples as well, so I can actually use this as a controller for an, an Arduino. And this is part of my project for automatic 
screen switching. So I've got this, and I also have this which arrived in the previous mailbag as well. This touch controller here, which is a similar kind of principle. So the idea is I can use a little controller over here near my camera when I'm doing live streams. And um, control the camera views based on what I've set it to as well as automatic switching which I've finished building today as part of the last room. I had lots of go problems, got there in the end. <laughs>